In this video, we will look at simplifying radicals, which have coefficients. If a coefficient is multiplied by the radical, then we will simply multiply the coefficient by what comes out. So let's take a look at some examples that have coefficients, where we have to do just this. In this problem, we have the negative 8 multiplied by the square root of 600. Again, we'll simplify the 600 by finding the prime factorization. Divisible by 2, 300 times, 2, 150 times, 2, 75 times, 3, 25 times, 5, 5 times, and 5 once. We now have negative 8 times the square root of 2 to the 3rd power times 3 times 5 to the 2nd power. With square root, the index is 2, and so we will divide the exponent by 2 to decide how many come out. 3 divided by 2 tells us that 1, 2 comes out. But there is a remainder of 1, which means 1, 2 will remain in the radical. There is no exponent on the 3, so the 3 cannot come out. 5 squared, dividing that exponent by 2, tells us that 1 comes out, and none remain inside the radical. To finish this problem now, we can multiply not just the 2 times the 5, but also times the negative 8 out front. T negative 8 times 2 times 5 is negative 80. Left inside the square root is a 2 and a 3, which multiply to 6. Our final solution, simplified, is negative 80 times the square root of 6. Let's take a look at another example, where we pull some stuff out of the radical and multiply it by the coefficient. In this example, you notice we have a negative. To account for the negative, we will always use a factor of negative 1. We will have negative 1 times, and then we will continue to find the prime factorization of the 96. 96 is divisible by 2, 48 times, which is divisible by 2, 24 times, which is divisible by 2, 12 times, divisible by 2, 6 times, divisible by 2, 3 times, and divisible by 3 once. We now have 2 to the 5th power times 3. On the negative 1 factor, we will always attach the matching exponent, as long as that matching exponent to the index is odd. The reason for this is negative 1 to any odd power will always be negative 1. In other words, we can always pull a factor of negative 1 out whenever the number is negative and the index is odd. 2 to the 5th can also come out as 2 to the 1st when we divide the exponent by the index. So to solve, we have 3 times negative 1 times 2 is negative 6. Left inside the 5th root is a 3. And we have our final solution. We can always simplify our radicals by dividing the exponent by the index, and then multiplying all the outside stuff together to get our final solution.